Is it hot? If this goes on much longer, I'm afraid I'm going to stop being an ostrich. Oh, yeah? What will you be? A roastridge. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> a pool! Oh, yeah! oh, boy. Oh, the sand. It's so hot. I come ever closer to the state of roastrichness. I could have sworn I saw a pool. Seeing water is your classical, typical desert mirage. A mirage? Kind of an optical delusion. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Hero? Is that a mirage up there? Who are you guys? There are the thieves! Capture them! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Let us go! We haven't done anything, for heaven's sake! Be quiet, you! Make sure they can't escape. Keep those nets taught. <laughs> this is not a, a deal of necking. <laughs> but what do you think you're doing? I found it. I found the sword. Now we can go return it to Nuka. Quit necking. Hey! Hey! <sighs> Oh. Fanning requires a nice, risky follow-through. This heat saps my strength. You're tuckered out, then we change places. That was the agreement. How could I have been such an idiot? Shh! Look over there. Huh? Whoa! Those are turtles! After them! <laughs> hurry! Hurry! Move it, you sluggards! Chi-Chi, Nuka, look, we've recovered the ancient hexagonal sword. Well done, Dorota. Now we can save our village, Father. Now the rains will come. I'll test it. <laughs> Give me that sword! It's mine! Huh? Who are they? Those are the thieves who stole the sword. It's mine, I tell you! Where do you find the strength to yell, Hero? I'm so thirsty, I feel I could die! Yeah, you could at least give your prisoners water. See the Geneva Convention. Arise in majesty, O ye rain clouds. Roll, O mighty booming thunder. Dazzle our eyes with your brilliance, O lightning. Yah! Yah! What gives him? <gasps> Father, what's wrong? This is not our ancient hexagonal sword. <gasps> the thieves! The three of you worked some magic spell on our sword to change its shape. Don't try to deny it! What nonsense are you talking? I would never do that to my precious natural coral sword. Natural coral? Yes, I thought so. Father, what does this all mean? Just look here. <gasps> this isn't crystallized jade. No, it's not. Will someone please explain this? Instead of the six-sided jade crystal in the handle of our sword, this one bears a white bead, a venerable bead, the likes of which never before have I seen. That's not a bead, that's a pearl. A pearl? Whatever that might be. I told you, that's the natural coral sword, you oaf. Oh, oh, oh. Nuka! Oh, father. <sighs> What a close call! Gigi, are you sure you haven't been rash with our precious water? No. It's our own fault for acting unwisely, Deroda. Since our village is in danger, we were not thinking wisely. We mistook your sword for our own ancient hexagonal one. Forgive us. Uh, just exactly what is this ancient sex agony sword you've been talking about? Not sex agony, hero. Hexagonal. It's an ancient sword as precious to us as life itself. We received it from the heavens eons ago. We could control the skies simply by saying the magic words and brandishing the sword. Until just a short time ago, this place was like an earthly paradise for us bog turtles. But someone stole the sword. And since that day, we haven't had a drop of rain.
I wonder who could have stolen it. You're saying that with this old sword of yours, you could actually bring on the rain? That's really something. If I understand correctly, this sword can control the weather, right? In that case, isn't this drought due to it, or rather, its absence? Yes, because the same thieves who stole the sword also took the scroll that describes how to manipulate it to control the weather. This is the end for us bog turtles. Oh, Father, we must all try to be brave. Hey, maybe I have an idea. I've just remembered something. Well, tell us about it. Before Dorota captured us, I thought I saw a turtle brandishing a sword on a sand dune. Really? Yeah, really. It might have been a mirage, but on the other hand, it might have been the thieves. Amy, are you sure you saw a turtle with a sword in his hand? If it wasn't a mirage... Then it has to be the land turtles. Yes, yes them. it I has just to know be it. the land I turtles. the land turtles. Huh? Hmm? The land turtles? Yes, they're in a village on the other side of that mountain peak. And you suspect them of having stolen the sword and caused the drought? Yes. Once a heavy storm came and destroyed their village, and they've always blamed that disaster on the sword. I never realized there were different types of turtles. Actually, we were on our way to march into the village of the land turtles when we discovered you. Everyone's gathered, General. Fine. Let's be on our way. Just a moment, please, Doroda. Father! What is it, Nuka? As leader of this village and its surroundings, I say it's reckless to begin a war without being positive that you've identified the true culprits. It would, but we have identified them. When those accursed land turtles stole our sword, they committed a sacrilegious act of barbarity that has no parallel in our history. We must get it back. Yes, yes we must yes. get it back. We must. Your reasoning is specious, lad, but nonetheless, we are all turtles. Rather than make war, it behooves us to discuss our grievances. With all respect, sire, the time is long past for leisurely discourse and peace processes. Look at the abject misery of your people. Today, we reclaim that which is ours by divine right. Forward! Yes, yes, yes right. 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 Come on, come on. Let's go along. And do what? <laughs> turtles stealing from other turtles. It's unforgivable. I do love it, good dummy, Brook. Oh. 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 It's not right for turtles to fight amongst themselves. It's not right. You're right, Father. I'll do whatever I can to stop the fighting, I promise. Do your best, my dear. I trust you. I will. Look after Dad, Pam. I'll help too, Chi-Chi. Amy, we better hurry up if we want to catch up with them. You're absolutely right. Let's get going. Okay. And you're going to carry me and Chi-Chi. Come on, Amy. Why in the world should I? They shared their precious water with us. They saved our lives. That seems like a pretty good reason to me. Your argument is not without its merits. Come on, Chi-Chi. I'm very grateful. Don't worry, Princess. We'll catch up with them in a jiffy. You'll see how fast I can run. Hey, wait for me. Wait for me. Darn you, Duigi. Oh, dear, it's a rain cloud. Not to worry. We now have the ancient hexagonal sword. Desist in your nefarious plans. Rain clouds shine down, son. <laughs> The rain cloud is impotent when faced with the overweening power of the sword! Then it's true. It really does control the weather and everything, huh? It's true, and it's wonderful. We never again have to fear the heavy rains. But do you really think we're morally justified in using it, Leek? It isn't ours after all. What are you saying, Gaffer? Due to the very fact that those mud-caked bog turtles were using this sword, our village was almost ruined. If we give it back to them, the same thing will happen. Until I brought the sword to the village, I too thought the bog turtles were responsible for the rains and floods that were devastating us. They are. But I note that even though the sword is in our possession, the rain clouds keep gathering. Therefore, the bog turtles were not controlling the skies. Even if what you say is true, we still need the sword to prevent the rains and floods from coming. Don't you agree with me? You're darn right. Of course, we've got to have that sword. Leek's absolutely right, Gaffer. Absolutely. Leek! 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 Ah! With the ancient sword and its handy instruction manual, we need fear no rain. I'm going to make our home a dry and comfortable ambiance apt for gracious living. Yes! 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 Yes!
be that some other turtle swinging that sword, not Hero. Did they change the lead character in this story? I'm the only lead character around here, you fool. Oh, yeah, right, I forgot. <laughs> you! <laughs> How nice to see you, boss. What's going on here, a ladies' sewing circle? And who are those turtles? Mm. Oh. Don't really know, boss. You don't know anything. What uh, about that? Looks like uh, Hero's sword. It looks like it. But then, maybe not. What a wishy-washy group of clunks. Let's find out. Hey, who the heck are you? I am the honorary lifetime vice president of the Society for the Prevention of Sword Brandishing by Turtles. <laughs> huh? What's this? Who does this sword belong to? That's our ancient hexagonal sword. Ancient hexagonal sword. I guess it's not what we're looking for, right, boss? I thought something wasn't quite right. They were trying to chase away the rain clouds with that sword. Well, that's certainly a laudable pursuit. This sword has come to light from the realms of legend. They'll make a wonderful pair. The natural coral sword and this. You must return that sword, sir. You <laughs> feckless nincompoop. This sword is now my personal private property. Hey, uh, boss, that like scroll gizmo contains all the instructions on how to use this sword. You don't say. <laughs> now listen up. You can all thank your lucky stars you're getting out of it so easy. We could trash a rat hole village like this one in seconds. Now come on. I'm coming, boss. Who were those ruffians anyhow? Leek, my boy, are you all right? Yes, but Gaffer, we simply have to get that sword back. I think it's best to leave well enough alone. We're no match for them. Besides, I've got a bad presentiment about something. Fear not. Huh? You evil thieves, we have come here to punish you for your crime. Say what? You've had fair warning. Yes, I never heard of anything so truly disgusting in my life. You should help each other, not steal from each other. We sea turtles would never do anything like that. Wait, you two, please listen to me. None of your excuses, old man. Wait! It's okay. Start without me. Chi Chi! Dorota, why do you not heed the wisdom of my father's words? We're sorry for this intrusion. We have no desire to fight. If you'll only return to us our ancient hexagonal sword, we'll say no more about it. Those are fair words, Princess Chi Chi, but if you get your sword back, you'll try to flood our village again. No, we won't. What we really ought to do is forget that today's events ever happened. Liar! Leak! Gaffer, it's obvious that these people will once again bring about a great flood in our village. What's that? We've never done any such wicked thing. What do you take us for? Then what about that? What about what? The land around here has been dry since time immemorial. Then suddenly one day the rains began to fall and a flood overtook our village. It was a terrible disaster. And I just know that you bog turtles started it with your ancient hexagonal sword. It's not true. This is insane. You people are simply jealous. Every why has a wherefore. Every why has a wherefore? What's that supposed to mean? It means that if you look, you can find a cause for everything and that certain people will find an excuse for everything. Hmm? Hmm. We would never commit such a cowardly act. I'm afraid you're very much mistaken. I can't be mistaken. You're the ones who had the sword, so you're the ones who caused the rainstorm. This is all a misunderstanding. Our village was suffering from a drought long before the sword was stolen. Then you're saying this is some extraordinary atmospheric phenomenon? I am. Strange thing is, the flood and the drought were reversed. That strikes me as the work of a... The Monster Jack. Did he say the Monster Jack? Hero, whatever is the matter? I have a slight hunch that I'm missing something here. Huh. Huh. What an extremely amusing toy. What does it say? It says that I can shake, brandish, or otherwise manipulate this sword to control the weather at will. Is that all? <gasps> what the devil do you mean? 
I mean, there's an awful lot of scribbly writing on that scrawl or parchment or whatever it is, and you tell us all it says is that with the sword you can control the weather? It seems there should be more! Maybe it's because you can't really read it that good, huh, boss? What? You cast doubt on my ability to decipher the ancient text? Well, for your information, I happen to be one of the world's foremost experts. It says to summon thunder and lightning, you say, rise, thunder and lightning! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Finally, my moment has come. Now I can resurrect the evil Jack. Boss, you're the greatest. But I thought... I mean, I understood that he was already resurrected. No, not completely. Not quite yet. And he's some kind of monster or demon, is that true? Yes, it is. Couldn't it be dangerous for us to bring a scary being like that back to life? <laughs> you got it wrong. Jack will be very good to you for having helped in his resurrection. If he would grant me just one wish, I'd ask him to make me the prettiest, sexiest pussycat in the entire known world. Ah, easy. A piece of cake for him. My dear Capronador. My dearest wish has always been to be a dinosaur. After all, lizards and dinosaurs are in the same family. I want to become super stinking rich so I can scuff off great grub all day long. If you're good and obedient and play your parts well, Jack will make all your dreams come true. He's promised. <gasps> huh? Huh, so there oh, you please. are, Nugget. Huh? <clears throat> ah, hero. Always a pleasure to see you. I was just about to search you out, as a matter of fact. Return the ancient hexagonal sword to its rightful owners at once, Imogen! It's a priceless treasure that is part of an ages-old tradition of our village. I beg you, please give it back. A priceless treasure, you say, hmm? Oh, that makes things even more interesting. Through the intervention of the mighty Jack, I will now increase the power of this sword. Yeah! He invoked the name of the demon Jack. Ah, finally I got it. Imogen made use of Jack's evil power to poison the king of our undersea realm. I'd forgotten about my liver. <laughs> What's the matter, scared? Well, you have every reason now we have Jack's power behind us. And now you're going to get what's coming to you. Yes, indeed. Right on! No, please! Use that sword improperly, and it'll bring misfortune. And now, hero, I'm gonna repay you for the way you've taunted me in the past. Have some lightning! Arise, thunder and lightning! Flash, flash, flash! It's almost as though the skies are turned inside out! What is this? I could have sworn I got that spell right. Rise up, thunder! Rise up, lightning! Flash! Flash! Huh? Heat is bad enough, but cold. I don't understand. I studied that spell carefully. I can't be wrong. The ancient sword belongs to the gods. All this confusion is because the gods are forced to give battle to the evil spirits. Look over there, at the jade crystal on the hilt of the sword. I don't believe it. Lightning! I said lightning! Let's have some service around here! Ew! That's smart! Ah! Uh, I simply can't wait one moment longer. I'm gonna destroy you all! Stop! No, Chi-Chi! I'll go. Don't bother me! I said stop! Now attack! Do you think you can hold me with a fishing net? How ridiculous! You fools! I won't forgive this! Coward! Hey, what's going on? It's so beautiful. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Uh-huh. Boss? Oh, no! Get away, hero. What just happened? It was really awesome lightning shot out of the sword. By the way, are you okay? Yeah, how are you hanging? I don't know what happened. I just started twirling the sword like crazy. The ancient hexagonal sword knew it was in danger, so it sought the help of the natural coral sword. Come on. A sword can't do that. It's not a live thing. It's simple. The natural coral sword is also a sword of the gods. 
That's why the jade crystal in the one sword and the pearl in the other one combine to create the light. Oh, I think I see. The swords must be from the same family. There is a spirit within the gems of the swords, and the swords will respond only if wielded by one with a pure heart. Hey, it's raining. Oh no, the flooding will start on you. This is a dry land, how can this be? I will stop the rain now. Rain, cease your torrents, sunshine bright. Thank you for bringing the sun back, if only momentarily. But if the great rains return, we land turtles will no longer be able to live here. It'll be our doom. No, Gaffer. I believe I found the solution. A solution? A solution? Well, come on, yeah, let's hear it. Out. I get the idea. All they have to do is switch <laughs> villages and everything will work out. But how come the weather switched around like that? Wasn't that just a little weird? Someone there was trying to invoke the evil spirit Jack, am I not right? Yes, Imogen. In my opinion, the strange behavior of the weather is due to that very fact. Huh? I hope there are no grave consequences of Imogen's rash actions. Drag that hero. But his luck has run out. I'll get him next time for sure. Ah! Twirling your sword around in the middle of a thunderstorm, you ought to be more careful. Hold on to this for a minute. Sure. Be sure not to drop him. <laughs> Texas! Ah! Sure, ah! Ah! Boss! Hold on, hold on, me! Certainly, some wondrous strange things have come to pass. Rain has fallen in torrents on a parched land, the sun is baking a boggy climate, and freezing cold is alternating in cycles with searing heat. Could this really be the handiwork of the evil Jack? And by the by, just who is this Jack character anyway? 